welcome back. Today we're going to be building Mr. Circuit lab number 16. It's going to be found on page 35 of your lab manual. So if you want to open up a new circuit on Tinkercad, we can get started. Okay, now that we have our new Tinkercad set up, why don't we get started? So first we can bring in some of our components. Start with our breadboard. Next one we bring in our two transistors. Remember there are two different types of transistors, the NPN, and that is the one with the big N on it. And we'll also need one of the PNP transistors. Remember they look pretty similar, make sure you're getting the correct one. Next we can bring in our capacitor. And we're gonna be changing the capacitance of this to a 0.01. And then in the drop down menu, make sure you're selecting UF. Next we can bring in our two resistors. I'm gonna rotate these 90 degrees so they fit better in the circuit. The first resistor is a resistance of 15,000 ohms. And our second resistor is gonna be a resistance of 620,000 ohms. Now we bring in our speaker. This will help us test the circuit at the end. I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. And we can bring in our 9 volt battery to plug power into the circuit. I'm going to rotate this 180 so it lines up better with the circuit as well. Now that we have all of our components in, why don't we start by placing them? We can start with our battery leads. We got our negative or black battery lead is going to be going in row H, two or three spots in. I'm going to change that lead color to black. Next, we can place our positive or red battery lead here. It's going to be going in row F, about halfway across the board. Next, when we place our two transistors, our Q1 or the NPN transistor, it's going to be going in row J, and then it has to go before the red battery lead. Now we have our Q2, the PNP transistor. And the first wire terminal on this, on the left side, is gonna go in line with our red battery lead. Remember, connections aren't made in a breadboard unless they're connected in the same row here. Next, we can place our two resistors. We grab the 15,000 ohm resistor, or R1. And that is going to go in row H. And the right side of this resistor will be in line with the base of our Q1, the middle loop. R2 is going to go, the left side will be in line with the third wire terminal, the emitter of Q1, and that can go in row G. And the right side of our resistor can go down towards the end of the board, also in row G, and we're going to make some connections to that a little bit later. Next, we're going to put in our capacitor. The left side of the capacitor is going to go in line with our third, the collector terminal of Q2, and that can go all the way down to row F. And the right side of the capacitor, terminal 2, can go in line with our R2 on the right side here. Remember they have to be in the same row as well. We're gonna bring in our speaker. We're gonna produce some noise to tell, tell us if we built our circuit correctly or not. Positive lead of the speaker can go in row I in line again with the third terminal, the collector of Q2. And the negative wire lead from the speaker can go in line with our collector or the first wire terminal of Q1. And this can go all the way down into row G. Now we can make our extra wire connections. So our first extra wire is gonna go in line with the first side of our R1. We bring that all the way over to be in line with our capacitor and the right side of R2. It's gonna go in row J. Our second connection is going to go in row I, and this is going to connect to the third terminal or the emitter of Q1 to the middle terminal or the base of Q2. Make sure you're 
sure you're clicking right in the spot, otherwise the offline your sticker won't work. Now we should be ready to test our circuit. So I'm gonna hit start simulation. You notice here it is not turning on, so that means we have to troubleshoot a little bit. So the one thing I did forget that a lot of you have forgotten as well is these probe wires. Remember in Tinkercad, we're not doing probe wires. We are using one wire to connect the two spots. If you're to build a circuit physically, you'll use the probe wires to test different materials or components. So we're just gonna make a connection here in row I in line with our black battery lead. And we're gonna bring it over to in our row F in line with our speaker and the collector terminal of Q1. It's in our breadboard. Now it should work. Let's start simulation. Working. So if you were to use this to test a component, it would see that it still has a connection and you can build the circuit correctly. If you hear this noise, you can stop simulation. Make sure you're taking a screenshot, submitting it into us. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.